saw how big it was for Energy Standard earlier, the fastest time in history. And they got a big jackpot because again, if you can jackpot relays, double points, even better. And obviously, at the moment, tight battle at the top. But Tokyo needs to get a big performance here to get right back into it. I don't think it's possible. Not not against Energy in London. They both have too good of teams here. And yeah, the women, even though, like I said, it was unofficially because it was not a world record, but it was the fastest time in history by a quartet. And now, who knows? World record for men here is 303 flat by the United States. The fastest team has been Energy with a 3.062. Gonna have to improve dramatically to get close to that fastest time, but this this really comes down between Energy and London. And 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 Bernie, I like London a lot better because of Duncan Scott. That again, he's such a key to these relays, and now he anchors London's relay. We see Lenny Kraselberg, Jason Lezak watching. Looking at how the semifinal number one breaks out, and Roddy Hardy, we are seeing these swimmers have taken the season to a whole nother level. With only two spots on the line, battling for a chance to get to the final today. I think the key now, I, I was going to say Duncan Scott before, but no, he's not the key anymore. I think it's Nakamura, the new guy they just brought in from London. That's the key. He had a good 50, solid 50 performance, but he's better than 100. He's got to put together a good 100 if they're going to beat Energy. Reloff having a great start here. Ben Pratt in lane number three. Reel off and for Nakamura, their newest addition, swimming right there in lane number five. Certainly adds some depth to London's team. There goes Reel off, back halfing it. He was fourth at the 50. He's going to be first at the 100, and Nakamura has a good job. He's third, 47-4. Reel off 47-2. Not especially fast, and that's really good news for London, because Reloff wasn't a 46 plus like he's been before. All right, it's Leclerc and four and Vakovashev in five now. And it appears Vakovashev has London into the lead. Yeah, Vakovashev, he's been 46 plus. Leclerc has been 46 plus, so he's just got to keep it close for Manadu. Manadu is at the end, but we saw what Duncan Scott did earlier as we get ready to the third leg. Those are the two guys that anchor it. Duncan Scott had the 200 IM 20 minutes ago. How much does that take out of him? Third leg, though. Here's the third leg, 46-4 and 46-1 for Prokopacek. 46-4 for Leclerc. And the big news for Rowdy is that right now, energy standard is 2-3. Yeah, that's, that's really good because Somehow, well, then that puts even more emphasis for London to win it because if they jackpot it, then at least it takes the sting out of London or energy maybe going 2-3. But they've got to win, and boy, right now, it, I, I would say you'd have to give Duncan Scott a little bit of a lead, and it doesn't look like Kush is going to be able to do that. Energy, 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 back, giving the lead to Manadu. Half a second, the difference. Boy, Kalashnikov, so good. 45-7 to 46-3 for Kush. So Kush was solid. He did what he had to do, but that's that 45-7 just kills you. Only guy to break 46 up to this point, and that's just a killer. It just when you when you go into one of the fastest guys in history, it was like choice from. You know, you, you can't go into choice from doing that. And right now, Duncan Scott trying to make it interesting. He's got a better last 25 historically, but nah, not going to happen. Ah, James Gibson, the relay master. Energy standard, two for two. 3.05.72. And energy standard goes first and fourth. 
Big time performance in the relays for the defending champions who will remain on top. Welcome back to the ISL studio. Joining us, I generally.